Are you a wine drinker? Nope. Well, how about a beer drinker? Either way, you can stop throwing away those pretty bottles and cut them to use as glasses, containers, or my favorite, flower bases. We'll need a few tools to make this magic happen. First, it helps to have a bottle cutting jig. I purchased this one from Amazon and the link is shared in the description box below this video. Safety glasses are a must, a file, paint or permanent marker, and finally, I'm using this plastic sleeve that came with my glass cutter. Before cutting your bottle, you'll need to remove the label. I've linked to my instruction on how to easily remove labels from bottles up at the top of your screen. Make a small mark at the bottom of your bottle. This is where you will start and stop your cut. Adjust the glass cutting wheel to where you want to make your cut. Release the glass cutting wheel on the cutting jig. Slowly rotate the bottle until you have completed one full rotation. Remove the bottle and check that your bottle has been scored the full way around. Make sure you're wearing those safety glasses. Have a pot of hot water on the stove almost to boiling. Next to this, have a container with ice water ready. Dip the wine bottle into the hot water, making sure to submerge the bottle to the cut line. Hold it there for 15 to 20 seconds, then immediately immerse the bottle into the ice water. Try to separate the bottle. If it won't break, go ahead and resubmerge into hot water and then ice water again. Once the bottle has separated, the edges need to be filed. If you want smooth edges, you need to sand the rim with progressively finer sandpaper. I started with a 150 grit and worked up to a 600 grit. Be sure to clean up your glass shavings and take care because they can cut you. Now you can use your newly cut bottles as containers, drinking glasses, or vases. Fill them with water and flour to give as a gift. If you like this video, show me a little love and leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to click that like button below if you liked it. And hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button up there and you'll never miss another DIY video tutorial from Pretty Handy Girl again. Speaking of not missing anything, I'm on all these social channels. Come find me at Pretty Handy Girl.